for question 1, it says that at 12 midnight, while the temperature inside a house is 23 degrees Celsius and the outside temperature is negative 7 degrees Celsius, it furnace breaks down. Two hours later, the temperature inside the house has fallen to 10 degrees Celsius. Assuming that the outside temperature remains at negative 7 degrees Celsius, the question asks to write the initial value problem mathematically and in differential equation form. So, we solve this by firstly, let capital T be the temperature inside the house at any time T. Tm is the constant outside temperature which is negative 7 degrees Celsius. dt over dt, d capital T over d little t is the rate which temperature changes while k is the constant that we have to find later. And we can write the initial value problem as T0 equals to 23 degrees Celsius and T2 equals to 10 degrees Celsius. Next, next is we write, is, we write it as differential equation form. And then we have dt over dt equals to k t minus tm which tm is the negative 7. So, the differential equation form will be dt over dt equals to t equals to k t plus 7. And then, we solve the equation by times with 1 over t plus 7 for both sides. And then, we got 1 over t plus 7 dt equals to k dt. And then we integrate both sides and we got ln modulus t plus 7 equals to kt plus c. In order to eliminate ln, we insert exponential for both sides and then we got modulus t plus 7 equals to exponential kt times exponential c. And next, we can cancel the exponential c and we get t plus 7 equals to c exponential kt. Thus, the general solution is t equals to c, e, c exponential kt minus 7. For question b, the question asks us to solve the initial value problem in A that gives the temperature inside the house at any time T. So, for the solution, we know that we have T0 equal to 23 degrees Celsius as initial value number 1 and T2 equal to 10 degrees Celsius as initial value number 2. Then, substitute the first initial value into the general solution that we obtain from question A. Hence, we will have the value of C which is equal to 30. For the next step, substitute the second initial value into our general solution. Remember that the value of C that we obtain has been substituted into this general solution. So, we will have equation 10 equal to 30 times exponent of K2 minus 7. Next, we add both sides with 7 and divide it by 30. So we get 17 over 30 equal to exponent of 2k. In order to solve the exponential log, we just need to insert ln for both sides and then we will have ln of 17 over 30 equal to 2k. And then divide both sides by 2 and substitute the value 
and using calculator we will have the value for constant k which is approximately negative 0.28 thus the temperature inside the house at any time t is t equal to 30 times exponent of negative 0.28 t minus 7 this is also known as the particular solution for the next part the question asks us to determine at what time when the temperature inside the house reach 5 degrees celsius which means t equal to 5 so we substitute t equal to 5 into equation that we found earlier that will be 5 equal to 30 times exponent of negative 0 0.28 times t minus 7 next we add 7 for both sides and divide it by 30 so we got 2 over 5 equal to exponent of negative 0 0.28 times t we can get rid of the exponential by insert ln for both sides to get ln of 2 over 5 equal to negative 0 0.28 times t and then we solve 40 equal to ln of 2 over 5 over negative 0 0.28 and then by using calculator we have the final answer which is 3.3 hours thus by using our prior knowledge about the hour system we know that they are 60 minutes for one hour so we must times 3.3 hours with 60 minutes over one hour so that we gain 198 minutes and then we just need to imagine and divide it using our knowledge about the our system and then here we got three times of 60 minutes which mean three hours and then we have 80 minutes extra here so we can conclude that they are three hours and 80 minutes so we got the temperature inside the house reach 5 degrees celsius at 3 and 80 minute am Question number two say a large tank contains 20,000 liters of pure water. Frying contains 5 kg of soap per liter is pumped into the tank at rate of 20 liters per minute. And the well mixed solution is pumped out at the same rate. Find the amount 80 of salt in kilogram in the tank at time t. First, we need to let A T be amount of salt in kg in the tank at time t. Using formula dA per dt equal rate in minus rate out, let's rate in equal to R in and rate out equal to RR. R in equal concentration of salt pump in multiplied by blood rate equal 5 kg per liter multiplied by 20 liter per minute equal 100 kg per minute. For R out, 80 per 20,000 multiplied by 20 equal 80 per 1,000 or 1 per 1,000 multiplied by 80. 
the ADT equal 100 kg per minute minus 1 per 1080 be equation number 2. Write this. Write the equation as T A D T plus P A T equal Q T. D A D T plus 1 per 1080 equal 100. Then we need to find integrating factor. Let's VT be integrating factor. VT equal E power of integral P multiplied by, multiply by T divided by DT equal E power of integral 1 per 1000 DT equal E power of T per 1000 be equation number 3. Next, we need to substitute 3 into equation AD multiplied by VT equal integral Q multiply VT DT plus C equals AD multiplied by E power of T per 1000 equal integral 100 multiplied by, multiplied by E power of T per 1000 DT plus C equal a t multiply by multiply by e power of t per 1000 equal 100,000 multiply by e power of t per 1000 plus c then a t equal 100,000 multiply by e power of t per 1000 plus c divide by E power of T per 1000 equal A T equal 100,000 plus C multiplied by E power of negative T per 1000 be equation number 4. To find C, we need to apply initial condition. A times 0 equals to 0. Then substitute A times 0 equals to 0 into equation 4. So, a times 0 equals to 100,000 plus C times E to the power of negative 0 over 1,000. Calculate and we will get C equals to negative 100,000. Next, substitute C into equation 4. So, A times T equals to 100,000 minus 100,000 times E to the power of negative t over 1000 since a times t equals to 100000 minus 100000 times e to the power of negative t over 1000 then at time t the amount of salt is 100000 minus 100000 times e to the power of t over 1000 kilogram